Happy Sunshine family. What a long, busy day it was today. I got up early in the morning and I was on the go all day and I just got back home oh, about an hour ago. And I'm sitting down and seeing some interesting things on the radar feeds and wanted to do a observation of what I could observe today. Uh, so let's head on over to the composite feed first. We've got some we've got some really interesting weather here. I mean, remember just those couple little storms that were developing uh, down here in Colorado and through Nebraska that drifted north through South Dakota and right as the radars in North Dakota and South Dakota were firing, these storms just got really huge. The colors were changing into the red spectrum, which is up here at the pretty severe end. And those were just small little storms. And the way the way those, those storms were sent made me wonder wow, were those little indicators, were they just sending off some, some tracer rounds, if you will? Let's just see if we got some stuff right. And now look at what's going on here. Oh, okay, we like the way the winds and the conditions are. Let's unleash it. Look at this. I don't know that I have ever seen anything quite like this ever. All of the weather reports I remember growing up always showed a jet stream, and sometimes it would have some funny dips and whatnot, but the general trend was from the west to the east. And I, I just, I don't quite know what's going on here, but what I do want to point out is that We've seen a lot of interesting things that happen according to our weather and the radar installations on a north-south or slightly north-northeast track from down here by Mexico up here to Minnesota area, Wisconsin. This is where all those radar units were firing a few days ago. And the day after that, we saw the prevailing weather on the East Coast flowing from the Northeast to the Southwest. And we saw the prevailing weather patterns out on the West Coast flowing in exactly the opposite direction as if there was a center median here. And now look what's going on just a few days after that huge, huge firing of the radars that was the median on the weather highway is what I had in the video title on that. And now look, look what's going on here, guys. The East Coast is still lit up like a Christmas tree. Florida doesn't seem to be doing that much with its radar right now. There really doesn't look like there's a whole lot of moisture off of the east coast of Florida. But there's some interesting... Wow, I, we're going to have to develop our own language for talking about some of these observations. This sort of reminds me of the parallel lines that we saw out here off the east coast of Florida a few days ago. Uh, but they're not really parallel, but just the way this was traveling... Look, we've got our, our spike coming out of Houston going up to the northwest. This is seems to be a constant feature here. We got some spikiness down here from the LA area. One north, one south pretty much. Oh, what else can we make out from this? Well, Seattle, when they fire their radar, I don't know if this is all, all the time because you know, I'm only about a week into really observing these feeds. 
But every time I've looked at it so far, this radar spot here, which I'm just guessing is coming from Seattle, the center of it looks like that's about where Seattle is. There's always about 25% wedge incomplete or not firing. And it's so far it's always been in the southwest quadrant. Spokane is still spiky. And Pendleton is still doing a very irregular. It's only... So Pendleton right now is only lighting up on the northwestern arc. Looks like we've got some smaller isolated wet weather coming up northern Utah. Looks like it's moving right for this radar tower here in eastern Idaho. Wow, what an amazing observation here. Look at all this moisture. These are coming from rapid water vapor generators, wet surface air coolers that are positioned all over the country at refineries and power plants. And I'm sure there's other types of facilities that will state that they have a need to make a lot of water vapor. This is coordinated, guys. This is happening a couple days after we saw the same radar feeds blatantly firing. Now, I don't know yet if all of these observations are related, but they're very suspicious to me. These are puzzle pieces that, that are very hard to ignore, and the pieces seem to be of the right shape to fit. This is amazing to me. All right, well, let's head on over to IntelliCast. Or actually, I think we're going to check VentuSky first. All right, and what I've got here is Hurricane Maria, quote unquote. And these are just the regular wind speeds, the sustained wind, 10 meters above the ground. And I'm just going to see what the highest reading I can find in here is. We're in the 70s. 73. Okay, we got 74 right now, so that's category one. Whoops. Okay, 85, 86, 87, 87. Okay, it looks like 87 miles an hour sustained winds is about as high as I can find with what they're purporting Hurricane Maria to be. They're still showing something out here off of the New York, New England coast. We're looking, top wind speeds are in the 30s. Let's take a look at the big UK tilt-a-whirl. Okay, we got some sustained winds here in the 50s. Well, let's see where the gusts are. Okay, we're getting some gusts in the upper 60s. Up, oh, there was some 70s right there. We got some 70s in here. All right, well, there's some gusts going on in here. Um, I got some emails from Ireland. We'll go over those photos uh, after I've had some sleep. <laughs> 
And let's go check out IntelliCast. There it is. Oh, yeah. You know, I just don't think their words have been invented yet to describe the complete and utter lack of detail in these quote-unquote satellite cloud images and the attention to detail in putting this together. I really feel like a grade schooler could have done a much cleaner, more aesthetically pleasing to the eye presentation and just more accurate. Not that I have a way to go out into the middle of the Atlantic and look at what's going on right now. I, I, I just... <laughs> like, how does NASA give this shit to us with a straight face? That's what I want to know. And we can see that they're showing Hurricane Maria down here. Well, what, is this Lee? Wow. Let's zoom into this. That's a neat little small, tight, cyclonic cloud formation. Uh-huh. I wonder, I'm going to have to look this up tomorrow, but look how close it is to Maria. I mean, it's so tight, compact, has a little eye. Well, we got another one to keep an eye on. Let's see what kind of moisture and telecast is showing off of Florida. And we'll play that. It's not looking like there's really much of anything at all going on here right now. Well, that certainly moved up. You know, I just had on one of truce videos from today and she was noting how look all of these islands are outside of the cloud cover nowhere near the eye and so none of these instrument readings are gonna gonna show anything like hurricane winds because the hurricane is just conveniently missing them now and that's an interesting observation She's concerned that they're just going to generate a storm out here as soon as this cloud mass moves to wherever it is <clears throat> that they want to hit next. This is very interesting pattern right here. Let's play. Let's see what it does. See if it moves. Well, thank you so much for all of the emails, all the love, light, and links that you've been sending. Oh, here we go. They've been really nice. And, and there seems to be quite a fair amount of interest in the weather. 
you know, I guess it's something that's affecting all of us and, and we're seeing a bunch of interesting things going on and uh, or what being reported out of Houston. This is interesting that this just pops up right there. <laughs> I don't know what that is, guys. Anybody got a guess as to what this is on the reflective moisture? It's just there and then it's not. And it's a very, very irregular pattern. All right, guys, I am going to bed. And I don't know what you're going to do, but I've got plenty of uh, videos now on my channel. So if you're so inclined, go check those out got a good series going with our court systems and exposing some very interesting observations in there. If you look at any of my videos that are tagged HATJ, H-A-T-J, R-K-B, you're sure to find some interesting observations in there. Okay, well, DG is hard at work, <laughs> and that's all I'm going to say about that. I love you guys an awful lot. And uh, we'll talk. To you. We'll talk to you really soon. <laughs> bye bye.